check me out on this. Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchSticks.com. Got a treat for you today. It's an inexpensive blood pressure monitoring device with lots of features. 60 bucks has been dropped to $35 with a $25 discount if you use code TIX when you check out. Check me, a company who has produced and we have reviewed a few of their different things, has a brand new blood pressure monitor. Blood pressure, because that's one of the most important readings you can have, and one of the weakest links, as far as I can tell, in smartwatches. A lot of them are starting to leave it out now. They just know it's not there, not the level of accuracy that we need. But these cuff things are. We've already reviewed some cuff-based um, um, devices that are really, really good. Some, like this one, can do blood pressure as well as uh, blood oxygen. You can get an extra probe that goes in there. Or another one, looks like this, we've reviewed, that does blood pressure and has plates to do EKG. Fine, fancy, and sophisticated. For an inexpensive blood pressure reading device, check me, just put this one out. We're going to walk through this together as I talk to you about how to really do things right with this. And when you open the container, you get your blood pressure unit all put together so you can put in your medicine chest or wherever. You've got um, an LCD that's about a five inch a reading thing. It also has voice prompts and results that come back out to you. Relatively decent accuracy as far as blood pressure cuff reading goes, plus or minus about 5%. It's an oscillographic test mode with continuous operation and so forth. Got the product specifications info. We'll walk through that once I show you the unit of what all these little things are. And a couple of the main reasons I wanted to point this one out, because, you know, I always say, here it is, there's the watch, it does blood pressure, but compare it with your cuff machine. I don't know how many of you even have one. If you go to the, uh, the drugstore, I don't know if you know how to pick one, um, but I want to go over this one, because it has a lot of really nice features that you should look for. Inside the little plastic container is the unit itself. Now, one thing is it runs on regular batteries. You have double A's, so you can always have double A's ready uh, anywhere you go. You also have a, char a, a, a power supply wire. If you don't have batteries, you can hook it directly to your USB and run it off of that too. So multiple power supply units. In addition, you've got this little card from CheckMe. Um, it's a five-year warranty support on this one, and um, your satisfaction. If you don't like it, you can send it back. The manual itself now, blood pressure monitor, goes into, well, let's let you freeze this if you want to take some uh, time to read it. General overall description and safety information. Wow, precautions and warnings. You know, the fancier and more sophisticated these things get, the more legalese it comes along with because they got to make sure you fully understand what it can do. There's some of the uh, information on it, naming each and every part, your choice of power supplies of how to run it. Um, there's the uh, v Vi Health uh, app that you're going to be able to download and pair it with by Bluetooth, which is another really nice feature setting the date, time, and voice. Of course, it'll automatically set the date and time as soon as you uh, Bluetooth pair it. You have two different users, actually three. You have two, do, two users you can set up that it'll record up to 250 different readings, and then a guest can come in and hit the button and just take a quick blood pressure reading and won't store the information. How you set the cuff up, how you set yourself up, and doing the measurement itself. Now, I'll tell you another really nice thing I like about this one uh, that I haven't seen until recently. Here's how you recall the records. I'll just keep paging through this. When you put this on and you turn it on, normally the cuff goes way up there, like about 200, right? And then pss, it starts to let go. And as it goes down, it's trying to listen for your heart rate. The systolic, the loudest one, by the, followed by the diastolic, the softer one. And when it's all done, it releases whatever air is left and it'll give you um, a reading. Well, this one, guess what? You put it on, you turn it on, it starts to fill up, gets up past your highest reading, and then stops and lets go. 
it can figure it out on the way up, not the way down. Now, I'll tell you, there's some significant advantages to that. For one, when you press it down so tight that you've cut the blood supply off so that nothing is passing through, basically, and your arm starts tingling, uh, and then you release it so you're letting blood just ooze through a little bit, well... That's not normal. That's not how your your arm really works. That's not how your blood pressure normally uh, behaves, right? But if you can creep up on it by compressing it a little bit until you finally compress down the last bit so you're, the, the, the microphone's not picking it up, and that last reading, but the last time it heard it, do it a little bit longer. You don't hear it again. It can figure out, say, that was your blood pressure. And that's much, much more gentle and much more natural way of approaching it. So that was one of the big selling points of this uh, of this unit. The two user, uh, sorry for the bad reflections there, the two user capability, you can toggle between them is great. By the way, um, it has voice in it. You can toggle it on and off by long press and hold here and you go forward and back in your history. And this is a basic stop, start and going into settings right there there we go and save that put it on it later if you need to and uh that's the basic unit the arm cuff now is right here and it's a standard type of cup in fact if you ever go to a hospital had a lot of time i could look at these hanging on the wall they literally hang this thing on the wall and then they wheel whatever device they got up to you plug this thing in put this on you and start taking their reading. And they have all kinds of different machines there that they can do, but the cuff is the same cuff. So if you get yourself a really decent cuff, and this comes with a very interesting uh, and nice cuff, um, that's pretty much all you need. This is a universal uh, connector and you could use different units uh, as well. That's another nice selling point I liked about this one. I'm going to turn it over so we don't have all these reflections. So the cuff, you just quickly, you open it up. It's Velcro. Uh, you slide your arm in here. It's got some stuff. Okay, maximum. Shows you how you can do it. You basically are going to slide your arm in. You're going to get past the center, your elbow area, right? Like that. You're going to get way up here. You're going to pull this tight. You're going to wrap it around. You're going to let the Velcro hook in. Now this one, you slide it around to where this tubing that's going to plug into here sits just right a little to the right of the center of your elbow. Shows that pretty much on the graphic right here. You see that right there? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then uh, you plug it in, you turn it on, you go, it'll compress and it'll do the whole reading for you. Now we can take a measurement directly on the unit by itself, but it also Bluetooth pairs to the app Vi Health, which is uh, this icon, this is it in the Google Play Store. Once you open up the app, you can set it all up for the particular unit, have it paired together, make sure you're on the dashboard, and then you can get a... Um, a transmission of the actual data as it's happening directly from the unit to the app. We're going to do that right now. I'm all wired up. Got it on my right arm. Gives me a little more flexibility. I'm going to move my arm up now so it's more or less at heart level because it's very sensitive about that. Hit start and listen. Starting measurement. Please remain still and quiet. You have the talking voice. You're seeing it's a transmitting exactly what the pressure is as it goes. And again, it's going to ramp all the way up and take the measurement on the upside, not while it's going down. Now I got to be quiet for it to work. Uh-huh. All right. Well, there we go. We got a reading out of it. You heard it speak to you. It's recorded the data here. It's recorded the data here. I can accept that one, and it'll um, be right here for us to see in the overall history of blood pressure. So that's a really nice feature of this one, that you've got an archived data as well. And you have other indicators on here that would tell you if you had irregular heartbeat, if you didn't wear the cuff right. It's kind of 
idiot proof if I could use that word not that any of us are but it's a new um, new technology to try to learn how to use blood pressure uh, machines and this one makes it really really easy you can switch users set your time and date all of that stuff is built into the unit the last thing to cover is how you retrieve your data after you've recorded it directly in the unit uh, we simply press this button here and listen it's asking for the user What she just read there is the average for today. And that's shown here. There's Fridays, Thursdays, and so forth. You have some indicators here of what you're looking at and uh, basically an LCD screen that gets brighter when you're at exactly the right angle. And that's the unit itself. So when I keep telling you guys to compare your smartwatch blood pressure reading to a calibrated instrument, either your doctor's uh, reading when you go to the doctor or a calibrated cuff, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. Bringing you this today so that you're aware you can get a really, it's brand new, just came out with all these features in it. You can get a really nice sophisticated uh, professional cup for home use for under $60, actually $35 if you apply ticks as the coupon when you check out and um, get it sent right to you. And then use this as your blood pressure measuring and let your watch do all the other stuff. By the way, that $25 discount is not just for uh, that particular unit, but it's for anything you're purchasing from CheckMe. They have ECG uh, measuring, EKG, ECG, same thing, um, devices, chest-borne ones, things with blood oxygen as well in there, uh, all kinds of them. And they have, of course, many different styles of the blood pressure reading ones. We showed you the ones you can get ECG. Um, there's uh, the simple ones. There's much more complex ones. Any one of these items, you'll get $25 discount if you use this link when you head over there. Or if you don't want to remember the link, it is in the show notes. You can just click on it. When you get to the Check Me site, okay, you can simply put ticks in at checkout. And no matter what item you're buying, you'll get $25 off your total order. That's a pretty darn good deal. And I'm very impressed with these guys. They make quality gear. Like I said, we've reviewed several of these units already of different styles. And they just keep up in the game. Um, Come back here. <laughs> if you're looking for something like this, I really recommend um, checking them out because they've got good quality uh, equipment. And we will be back with smartwatch reviews, the theme of our uh, channel, as long with smart ring reviews. I've got the ultra human on the way in and we're hoping... Can you do that? You can, we're hoping we'll get the Galaxy Ring when it comes out as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We will see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.